Hey everybody, Arco here. Welcome to the tenth round of the second season of the Kill Pete Open Tournament. We've made it through to the top 48 remaining players out of 1800 something, I believe it started as. And now we're going. Oh boy. Okay. We are going first. So we got to figure out what the hell to do. And man. This is another another rough spawn. We don't see the left side of the map at all. <laughs> we could we could weirdly almost claim this plus four, but that's not gonna happen. I believe this is gonna be a non bonus game. Ninety percent sure. Do something like that. Yeah, so many of our troops are over there. Alright, so once again, just like uh, last week, it's a six player, five player, four player format, winner advance only. Uh, for this six player game, we have uh, regular Europe, not Europe advanced, uh, progressive world dom with fog on and unstable portals. It's going to be fog on for this whole round, unlike uh, most of the previous rounds. And yeah, so going first isn't ideal. We'll have to see how this plays out. But players in our uh, round 10 group, we got ourselves. Then we have Blue Ford Sugiboto, a master. Uh, J Hop 6, another master. Uh, Alan Graysteel, another master. Uh, Saint Gojira, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, another master. And rounded it off in the last in the turn order, this game is Truth Powers, Grandmaster. We faced Truth a bunch of times across various tournaments. Alright. So red moves off. So we're going to make our middle two a four, attack left, buff the bottom two up to a three, and then try and start combining some of this stuff up here. Okay, we see red and purple on the portals. Not sure how many positions we're going to be allowed to get here as we slowly traverse through the fog. So we don't see too, too much still. Purple did leave that bottom left portal open on their turn, so we'll see if somebody snags it. I 
guess everybody else that could have gone through the portals has already gone in the turn order. Oh, there's truth. Yeah. So that's what the emotes were. He was asking Purple if he could have that spot. He got some free vision off of it, so we'll play to truth. Getting some more vision in the middle here. I'll keep that interesting. Might create a bottom right position. So that we at least have four positions across this board. It has a bunch of material in the center. Okay, we have a set on three. Okay, we have a plus two in the middle, so we're definitely staying there. Holy shit. Okay. We can squeeze ourselves right on in. <clears throat> so we have a good amount of vision on this board. In fact, we see most of Pink's troops. Still unsure of who's in the bottom right fog, but we have a giant question mark on who is on the left besides Truth is in the bottom left.
guess we can attack left for vision. Okay, there's white. And they move back. No one's holding bonuses, eh? Yeah. Just waiting for truth to end his turn. Okay, more mix of red, purple, white. So we don't have great vision of who's around the edges. We'll get some of that on the start of the next turn. With the, uh, the unstable portals opening up. Truth is trying to split up a bunch. Oh, that portal's open. Uh, Sweden. Okay, nice. We'll save that, see if we can greet out another plus two. Now we got a five position play going. <clears throat> Hang on, 
six, twelve, and then fifteen, twenty seven, twenty eight troops. This might be all of white. Twenty eight troops before they trade. Yeah, that might be all of white. Fortunately, we are first in the turn order, so we can't... I don't think we can really capitalize on that too, too early. Okay, no set on three. Pink still majority in the bottom right. Still haven't had too, too much vision of what's going on on the far left side of the board. Okay, there's red again. Sitting in the middle of France. Quick attack there from white. So truth has the four positions that we know. And then maybe a fifth in the top left? Not entirely sure. Oh, shit. No set on four. That's not good. That is not good at all. Now we're going to have to quickly take our next turn here. Mm, 
another big pink stack. I'm thinking I'll move off to the corner here in the Netherlands. Just to try and be out of the way in case someone below me in the turn order decides to trade on four and go for my kill. end our turn. Now I made sure, in case Truth has ideas of killing me, I made sure to add one troop here, one troop on the middle, and then one troop up here, which is out of his vision. So he should know I have at least one other position that he can't see. I have a plus two on Serbia. Okay. Either or should be fine. Purple trades. So if everyone is trading on four. Sorry, my headset cut out there for a sec. I hope everything is fine there. But as I was saying, if everybody trades on four. Then I might be in trouble here. Okay, pink has no trade either. Oh boy. So we have 39 troops. We see 10, 19, 20, 28, 34 of pink. And they had a slightly bigger trade. So pink has another position somewhere on the left side of this board that we can't see. White trades in the 25. So does Truth trade in the 30 and go for the kill on either me or Pink? Or is White about to try and go for my kill? No, they don't. Truth trades. 13 on 8, 12 on 7. Looks like he's lining me up. Does he think that's all of me? He's hesitant now. Maybe he's remembering from the past turns. 
Okay. So we live. Head back to this area. Portals are closed, so I have no access to pink. The only way I could have killed pink there was if I killed all this material and then gambled that pink was to the left of white's 12 to add enough to bust through there, but did not have vision of that. So pink lives, they get the biggest trade. Okay. So we all survived through one round of trades. We have no trade on three at the moment. So pink has a bunch of troops now. I know red didn't set either. Jesus, not even notice red. Yeah, the same thing with red. Red had this middle portal area here, but the portals were closed, so I couldn't have a path to red there with the portals being closed. We do improve our uh, our troop count numbers a bit by surviving the new set on four. Yeah, that, that move we did when the uh, Serbia to Sweden, that portal, to create a fifth position, that likely saved us from that round of trades. Uh, what? What do you mean I've deployed all troops? Okay. Not entirely sure how that worked, but <laughs> fair enough. I don't know if I accidentally placed all of them there quickly and was just blind, or I don't know what happened there. Okay, we have a trade on four.
Ooh, get fortify from pink there. Makes more of their troops active. I think we'll leave that block to the 13. Okay, red sets on three. I still have no clue what's in the bottom right. I know one of purples in the bottom left, I'm, I believe. Uh, pretty tough game to work things out here. White has a set. Okay. And truth sets on three. <laughs> oh, man. So the only kill that'd be worth it is purple. And I have no idea if where purple is behind here, or if I can even get there without having to hit through a major stack. Because the people that were lined up here all traded. So I'd have to bust through one of these 20 or more stacks for even more unknown information. But either way, we are setting here. We'll make this a 20 up here. I'll add a bunch over here. Purple has the set. Do they go after pink? I highly doubt it. Oh, never mind. Never mind they do, I don't know, I have no idea if they have it all or not. Do they have access to this 17? Yeah, no. Does pink have a trade? This could be really bad if pink doesn't have a trade. Holy shit. So pink might be down to just this 20 stack and this one stack. So 
So red cleans up pink here. Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, might cut out again. Sorry about that. Okay, so red just got fed a bunch of troops. So now red is in the, a massive driver's seat position. And it looks like they're going to go after purple. Oh, this feeds it to truth if they don't find this five. Hmm. Very strange situation we have here. Well, I want to find out what's in this bottom right corner. Ah, white's going to block there instead. Darn. And now we're hunting around for vision. Okay. Purple's only on two cards. Ugh. What the heck is going on? Okay, that was all of purple, but now red is going to gun after me. Gotta hope that red doesn't have a set. Sets are 80. No set. Holy shit. But I have no idea if red is behind white's 33 or not.
White owns that spot below them, at least. Okay, there are portals on either side here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's there. Okay, we got a wild card, we got a set. So if red goes for the chain kills on white and black and then doesn't finish us off, we have a set to come back around with. Okay, they just hit a bunch of truth. Hit some of me, interestingly. Ooh. They just feed truth to white. They did, damn. So my block did prevent that. So white gets the 90. Do they have enough to kill red? Gotta hope they go after red here, perhaps? Hmm. Keep it like that. That way we our stacks are open to whoever doesn't set here. Okay, red doesn't have a set. And a card skip. Okay, white trades in. Uh, 
Are they going after red right now? Okay. Okay, this might be enough, actually. not be enough. Did not get as good of a roll on the 150 as I had hoped. Hmm. Think we lose. Yeah, Red's gonna have the set here. Yeah, damn. Gotta hope they go after white here. Holy shit. Holy shit, we have the set. I think we got lucky. We got lucky from our error.
Oh, good game. Wow, we got lucky off that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to need to look back to see if hitting the white 150 was the move. Because had I got a better roll on white's 150, I could have double tapped red stack and likely killed red, got the three cards, and then have the card advantage on white to win the next turn. That was what my thinking was during that turn. But because I got a bad enough roll, it wasn't quite enough. And I think me smacking white last second saved white from killing red and then winning the game. So I'm not entirely sure what I did throughout all that was correct or not correct, but though we got the card luck, we, we survived the no set on four, but then we got the insane back-to-back -back set on three card luck with the wild card to clutch out the win in the end. Oh, okay. So we're moving on to the quarterfinals, or round 11 of the second Kill Pete Open season. Holy crap, that was stressful. But all right. <laughs> and that'll happen sometime next week, depending on the scheduling, along with other tournaments to come, of course. GG's once again to all of our opponents. And until next time, everybody, take care and choose for stopping by.